Russian troops bore down on Kiev and thrust into Ukraine's second-largest city of Kharkiv on Sunday even as a Russian defense ministry spokesman claimed the army had completely blocked cities in the south and southeastern parts of the country. As the fighting entered its fourth day, video emerged on social media depicting fierce combat and Ukrainian soldiers firing rockets on the streets of Kharkiv. There were also reports that Russian missiles struck a gas pipeline. The Russian enemy's light vehicles have broken into Kharkiv, including the city center, regional governor Ol Asin Gubov said in a Facebook post. Ukraine's armed forces are destroying the enemy. We ask civilians not to go out to the streets. Kharkiv is about 24 miles from Ukraine's northern frontier with Russia, making it an essential target for an incursion. But combat in tight urban settings, the city has a population of approximately 1.4 million, is likely to result in a high number of casualties. On Saturday, an artillery round hit a nine-story residential building. One person was killed and 80 were rescued. As of Saturday afternoon local time, there were 240 civilian casualties, including 64 dead according to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. The violence has also forced an exodus of some 368 OOO people to neighboring European countries, the U.S. Refugee Agency said on Sunday, more than double the figure mentioned earlier in the weekend. Governments estimate the war could lead to as many as 5 million refugees. There was also damage to infrastructure. Outside Kiev, Russian bombardment hit an oil depot in the town of Vistokiv, some 20 miles to the southwest. Video posted by Ukraine's State Service of Special Communications and Information Protection showed a ferocious blaze and a large plume of smoke rising into the night sky above the depot. The enemy wants to destroy everything, Vasilkiv Mayor Natalia Balasinovich said in a Facebook post. 